settle it. Formula One in Austin gets a yellow light as city council members vote to delay moving forward with endorsing the event. The 2012 Formula One U.S. Grand Prix needs the city's support to be eligible to receive $25 million from the Texas Major Event Trust Fund. Before he went out on that breaking news, KXAN's Doug Shoup listened to why the entire council voted against the mayor today. The Circuit of the Americas venue is already in the works in southeast Travis County, but the track and Formula One race got a caution flag Thursday when Councilmember Laura Morrison made a motion to delay Austin's vote of support for four business days. Personally, I have a significant amount of discomfort in terms of um, moving these documents forward in this way today. But a lawyer for the venue told council a delay could jeopardize the project. If you push it off, it gives us great trepidation on this thing pulling off and making it. Spectators in the room included F1 supporters like Del Valley residents hoping for development, construction workers hoping for jobs, and the track and race stakeholders hoping to meet a financial deadline at the end of July. This isn't about just a Formula One race. This is about uh, motorsports. This is about music. This is about uh, a lot of community events and festivals that we can hold on this facility. And there were F1 opponents concerned about possible air pollution, traffic, parking, and Texas taxpayer money used for a private enterprise. What could all those construction workers be getting jobs long term on building houses. What if we use this money to feed people? People don't look at the unseen economic consequences of these kinds of decisions. Passes on a six to one vote uh, with me voting no. Mayor Lee Leffingwell was the only one on city council against postponing the decision. We have examined this for a long period of time. It is in effect a huge gift horse office offered to the city of Austin. And to risk losing it uh, is something that I'm not willing to do. But Austin resident Susan Moffat expressed joy at council members' decision to not so much put the brakes on the project, but rather fine tune the details. I think this is probably all going to slide through next week, but I will feel much more comfortable if we have time to make sure the contracts are really doing what they say they're doing. For a $300 million economic impact project, uh, we, we would hope to gain support certainly next Wednesday and move on. Again, that was Doug Shoup reporting. Now, a lawsuit could also put that project on hold. Three people filed that suit against Texas State Comptroller Susan Combs to prevent the $25 million in subsidy for the event. They claim Combs promised promoters that money before she was legally allowed to do so. Spokesperson for her office, however, says regulations were followed.